Oh, welcome back to Saturday Agenda. I'm Katrina Zish. All right, it's time to take a look at some of the week's hottest pop culture headlines. We're joined now by the host of the Front and Center podcast and media expert, Jackie Jordan. Jackie, great to have you with us. It has been a very, very busy week. We've been hearing about one Britney making a lot of headlines, talking about Britney Griner, of course, but there's another Britney. Uh, the tide may have turned as hashtag free Britney fans, and again, we're talking about Britney Spears this time, grow increasingly concerned for the pop star's erratic behavior, specifically on her Instagram feed. Now, just yesterday, she posted uh, an odd video of her dancing, flipping off the camera, and then eating cake off the floor. Uh, you know, she's 41 years old. Do you think fans were too quick in supporting her breaking free from that long-term conservatorship she was placed under? Uh, this doesn't necessarily seem like the behavior of a 41-year-old who is uh, in control. Katrina, you ask a really great question here with the whole free Britney saga. Britney Spears, yes, turning 41 this week. And yes, uh, she flipped off 41 million of her followers yesterday on Instagram with her love-hate relationship she's on. And then sometimes she deactivates her account. And is this normal behavior? Absolutely not. But most of us are not like Britney Spears. And here talking about a woman who has been sexualized uh, to the public and to her fan base, her whole entire life. So she gets free of her conservatorship. And the question I would ask is, did we expect her to behave anything different? Did we expect her to you know, be the, uh, the sovereign mother of two teenage boys? I think it's a lot to expect of her, which is why she was in the conservatorship. But you know what? She deserves her autonomy. She deserves, you know, to honestly, I have to say, self-destruct if that is her, if her, that's her fate. I don't wish that upon her at all, and I'm certainly rooting her on. But we can't be surprised that she would behave any other way because this is all she's ever known and all she's ever done. Yeah, oops, she did it again. Uh, all right, uh, yeah. actress Jenna Ortega, the star of Netflix's latest hit show Wednesday, I haven't seen it admittedly, finds herself in some hot water after revealing she filmed the now viral dance scene while testing positive for COVID. She's accused of risking exposure of the virus to the cast and crew. Uh, do you think this is another case of Hollywood hypocrisy? Rules for thee, but not for me. Oh, absolutely. I have so much to say here. First off, my it's a big fan favorite in my office at TV Guest, but they love this show here on Netflix. And I think the fans actually love it, too. But yes, you know, even when we do our business at uh, TV Guest, we have a very difficult time getting beyond production protocols these days. They're still requiring overall in Hollywood the whole Hollywood industry. They're re requiring all the vaccinations, plus the booster, plus a daily testing. So there is no way that this was an accidental, oops, we let the star of the show. No, this is what they, they needed to get the star of the show to do her busy work. And so they let it slide. But Hollywood is still holding the, the strictest industry uh, protocols that I'm seeing anywhere else in the entire country and any other line of business. And even the military uh, mm -hmm. dropped that this this past week. Yeah, that's right. I know some I have some friends who are actors and, and their agents have dropped them uh, because they yep. decided not to get the COVID vaccine. So, all right. Yep. Uh, turning to another popular Netflix show with some names, uh, even if you're not in the pop culture world, you might recognize. Harry and Meghan, yes, the uh, divisive docu-series premiered this week and perhaps another PR attempt to win the hearts of the United States. You take your take on this, I think, uh, you know, Jackie, because we, we have a, a lot of this looking more and more like Meghan kind of had a plan the whole time. Yes, Katrina, you're absolutely right. There are they are spending tons of PR money, I can tell that as a PR consultant, to get us to fall in love with this woman, Megan, and her husband, uh, Harry. And it's so ironic that this is coming out the week of the William and, you know, Prince William and, and the Duchess Kate's visit here to the United States. And they're not letting us loose. And if I just were to say economically, you know, there's sp that's a ton of money that they're spending between the Netflix docuseries, the book, the podcast, the Hulu series. Um, to, and just, you know, the regular uh, viewership in the magazines that we all see to keep their name out there. That's a lot of money that is being bankrolled for us 
to fall in love mm -hmm. with the two of them. Yeah, for two people who claim to just want privacy, um, yes. their actions speak louder than their words. All right, Jackie Jordan. Awards too this week. This, That's all yeah, the time we have. Thank you.